How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video and in today's video guys We're gonna be working and finishing up the work on the Corvette C7R here the C7 race edition Whatever you want to call it. This thing is packing Well nothing right now, but it will be packing a V8 uh, Supercharged motor. I think it's 584 horsepower stock is what this thing supposedly makes um, but with what we did in the last video, i.e. if you guys haven't seen the last video, I'd say go look at that one so you can see all the mods you put into this. Um, just all like the casual, normal, you know, V8 mods, putting all the pistons and everything, performance forge pistons, whatever, into this. Uh, I'm expecting to be making around a thousand. Um, I'm not sure if this one's going to be as much horsepower as like a twin turbo, but fingers crossed the supercharger pulls through for us and pull that out. Um, and then yeah, we still have to do the entire body here. So I'm just going to get working on this because there's a ton of work to get going on. Uh, I'm going to strip the body down first. Put that on. Let's see. Give me a headlight. Wheels don't matter. No side suspension pieces. Oh, what was that? Body window. Get that out of there. You cannot stay. All right. Should be a one now, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go through and repair whatever i can so we got all those things repaired now let's move over our cleaning and detailing stuff uh and our fabrication kit let me throw the old battery on the battery tender move this over move this over all right oh okay that inside just got a very very shiny and bam there is the body without rust oh nope that back and you know what now that i got the body without rust i'll put the engine in hopefully we'll have something it can set on that's not actually rusted out uh radiator a need to pick up one of those Let's see radiator a i think i'm gonna buy a fan housing b i'm gonna buy the normal one just because i end up needing them anyways Yes, fan housing B, sweet. Alright, so I think the engine bay is almost completely done. I went to... Oh, well, I can't see the oil being poured in, but I'm going to be assuming I'm hitting it. I think. Yep. Alright, there we go. And slap back on the hood. The left headlight and the bumper. Those are the few things I actually own. Uh, so let's go get everything else now go into here community cars wow there's a lot oh wait does this take all these pieces wow okay so buy all these all those right headlight yes fender front no hood no left headlight but everything else and then not that i about bought that part but i did not expensive very very expensive we do not want to make that mistake all right anything else any other interior fenders i can possibly put in yes there we go always try and get the interior roll cages and stuff like that done first because if you don't do it it is a pain to get back inside there and actually get it to work what about the yes yeah, i think it's window on before i go too much further it's pretty dope back there all right off, looks like I have to put in our own steering wheel. It looks like I was expecting this one to have its own, but it does not. Oh, get your window on there. Ninety-four percent. What are we missing? What are we missing? Oh, main window. And I'm assuming that's a hundred. Nice. Okay. And just like that, we go from $48,000 with it being terrible, looking bad, and no motor to a new motor and new body parts. Still not paint match, but 356 k So that is uh, definitely quite the upgrade. Uh, like I said, like 100 times before, if you guys want to make a ton of money in CMS 15, or not 15, geez, CMS 18, geez, you just got to buy an expensive car, redo the body, and that's it. Just throw body pieces on it nobody cares about suspension or motor just the body and then you will be getting a lot of money out of it all right let's get this thing up in the air 
Now we got some real stuff to start working on. We're gonna pop off the tires and wheels. A little loud. I gotta say, I dislike the sound that these make when it like is like taking the lug nuts and it sounds like it's taking the lug nuts and it's chucking it into a drawer of wrenches and just slamming your hands all over it. Kills my ears. Alright, and then we'll go ahead and take apart the front here really quick. Maybe I'll turn down a little bit. Maybe, maybe that'll help. Alright, well, I'm going to go through, actually, because I know this is going to take me a minute. I'm going to go through to a time lapse quick, guys, of this, uh, this disassembly process, because there is a ton of stuff. This is like a brand new, modern uh, suspension setup. So I'm going to go through, disassemble all this, and I should see you guys back here with all this stuff disassembled, and maybe a couple other things put together, ready to go. So, see you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, I have got all the parts repaired and even put on the C7R. So this is my last tire going on here. All right, we officially have a roller. So next up is gonna be adding a gearbox and then front exhaust pipe B8C. So let's go get our gearbox quick. So there's our performance one, pick that up. And then we need a, another performance piece. Um, exhaust pipe. Oh, that's nice. Put pipe. Two, three. There we go. Exhaust pipe. Uh, I don't think I see any C variants, so I'm going to have to skip on that. For the V8, at least. I, I see the C variant, but not the correct one. Exhaust pipe V8 C. Yep, there it is. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, it was that one. Alright. This gearbox in. Okay. Oop. So I think... Let's get this drive... Sh no drive shafts, okay. I think once we get this drive shaft, and then we get the fuel situation, then we should be good to go. I think this thing will be in working order. Uh, out of fuel tanks, that's all right. I need to stock up on those anyways. Usually buy them in bulk. 20 fuel tanks at once. I've been through probably 40 to 60 fuel tanks now. Starter and steering wheel. All right. Well, those are two things I can definitely take care of. Oh, they're not letting me skip over here. There we go. Come on. Back it up. Okay. All right. Let me move you to the bay one. Hopefully, I can even open the door here. Uh, you know, I'm gonna throw in the Dodge steering wheel just because it's a nicer looking one and I just have it. I just want to get something in there. So now this is worth $489,000. See, it only increased 130k and that was with probably an extra 45 minutes worth of work to get this thing in running order. So you could have just taken the entire car 
and done it like three times over just the body and easily like tripled or quadrupled the amount of money you would have earned but there we go there is the c7 ready to go i'm going to send it to paint really quick we're going to get a good paint match on this all around stock it was or not stock factory i should say it was pink it was like magenta pink it was like this or magenta almost it's basically purple actually i changed it to green because i like the green better but let me see what i can mess oh 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 wait a second oh i forgot also we do have a ton of libraries i got the highway patrol libraries yeah i'm gonna go with this one though that's a that's an interesting color this is a almost a copper color and this thing is glossy all right let's move this into our let's say dino all right and let's see what this let me pop the hood let's see what this supercharger can put down 584 we're looking for a thousand looking for a thousand come on baby Oh, okay, yeah, no, we definitely hit the 1,000, but like I was fearing, it definitely does not have the potential where the twin turbo did. The twin turbo put us up to like a 90% gain, and that was at, I think, almost 1,100 or so. I'd have to go pull the car out and check it, but dang, yeah, still incredibly fast. Uh, let's send this to entrance A, and we'll run it on the drag strip for one run i'm gonna get the gearbox adjusted a wee bit and i kind of remember what the numbers for the last one were so we're going to down gear this to like 60 and then this is gonna get rough uh i think i need to close this gap a little bit this gap more this one's about 180 about 208 on that one all right if i can hit anywhere near 234 i think we maxed out 220 on the last one so we'll see if that tune will work i'm not sure i know this thing does boot up really quick and this one also has a fully done suspension and the ferrari the twin turbo v8 did not have a fully done suspension but this one does so i'm it's pretty promising actually that this could beat it and or come close. I don't know. Let's let's find out. All right, get our view. All right, come on. Oh wow, it's still spun out even a little bit. That's crazy. 140, 150, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oh, yeah, this one's definitely geared a lot better. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it is. Wow. As we just total it. That was geared so much better. The top speed was way, way, way faster. Wow. Okay, that was really, really good. I'm going to definitely take that one for a win. I'm probably going to say the C7R did beat the Portofino, actually. I I do think it definitely had a higher top speed and by like 10 miles an hour, which is actually nuts. Yeah, this thing's an actual demon at $489,000 with a 97K restoration bonus. You know, we take those numbers. I'm going to keep this one, though, because I really, really like it. I love the paint color on it. Actually, it's grown on me a lot. But there we go. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video so far, leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want me to work on next. Uh, but if you guys don't subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And I hopefully will see you guys in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.